Hey guys, this is Zola. Uh, this is my first tutorial for ZolaMedia.com and uh, we're going to be doing some work with Photoshop and Illustrator on custom. Here we have it here, I've already recorded it but I'm going to re-record it, try and get it on the 10 minutes so we can have it on YouTube as well. So uh, let's get into it. This is what we are going to be creating. This custom text which is, uh, I did this for Killer KC over MLG and um, the hardest part making this was this custom text but it's also turned out to be the coolest feature I think so let's see how this was created okay so here we are in Illustrator this is CS3 and I'm using a Wacom tablet as well I just thought I'd point that out okay here we're going to make sure that the fill is off and the stroke is on black Make sure you have the pen tool selected, if not just press P. And we're going to draw a Z, or as you guys in America call it, a Z. I'm just doing one letter here. You can uh, you can do two, three letters, it's up to you. But for this tutorial I'm purely going to be doing one letter because of time constraints. And I'm going to show you how I open this. Go up to the brushes window if you don't have it go up to window brushes and with the roll down menu go to open brush library artistic and select chalk charcoal pencil this will open this little library of strokes then press V select your stroke and um, this is the one we're going to be using I'm then going to increase the stroke size to 8 points and that will get as our basic shape for the letter. Now you can do this with numerous letters, I'm just going to do one. In fact I'm going to use one I made earlier using the same technique which is this one. Okay so we're going to copy this command or control C depending on if you're on the Mac or the Windows. Switch to Photoshop, command control V, paste it. I'm going to paste it as a smart object and scale it down a bit. This is still a vector at this point which means you can scale it to any size and it'll stay crisp on the uh, on the sides. So we are going to make a layer above this. I'm going to fill it. So shift delete. Shift backspace, sorry. Black. Click OK. Now double click the layer. And we are going to add a gradient overlay. Select the gradient style. I'm going to use this preset which is orange and gold and uh, select this angle, press the down key as you can see it will update on the left naturally we're going to move it up so now the gradient has an angle finally we're going to add a stroke Go to yellow add a bright yellow stroke now this isn't going to become this isn't going to be visible for now but if we now add a layer mask by using control uh, option or alt and uh, clicking on layer mask now we've uh, we filled a layer mask with black which means that we've just basically hidden everything we've done now I'll switch to your brush press B select the layer make sure it's selected and over here I'm going to press X to switch to uh, my white color which allows us to now paint into this layer mask So as you can see I'm doing this rough and ready for the tutorial. You can spend as much time as you want on it. And just just painting into the foreground. Giving the stroke kind of body. So here we go. Like I said you can spend as much time as you want on this. I'm purely speeding it for your entertainment. <laughs> If you find that kind of thing entertaining. I don't. Pressing X here, switching back to the black, which allows us to paint over what we've done, which is the beauty of using a layer mask. Press X again. Can you see I'm painting in it again? And this, this kind of looks alright. I'm going to paint into this a bit, make it look a bit raw, damaged. That's starting to look pretty interesting. I'm pretty close to what the actual text is for the Street Fighter 4 text. 
which is what we're trying to emulate. Okay, so that looks alright. And now I'm going to go back to the bottom layer. I'm going to right click, rasterize this. This basically allows us to paint onto the layer. And this still looks a bit generic, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paint in black. And as you can see, my stroke is actually not as dark as my brush at the moment. So I'm gonna double click this, go to color overlay, and change this to a, a pitch black, so that my uh, brush strokes match the background, so it all looks cohesive. Now I'm using the bracket keys to, to uh, make my stroke smaller. And then bigger again. As you can see, as you start to paint, this kind of starts to look like you've actually drawn the whole thing, which is kind of what we're going for, really. It looks less generic and uh, just looks a lot better. Now you want to be careful because you don't want to overdo it too much. Now, if you want, you can add a layer mask to that. Switch your brush stroke to black, and you can even paint into it, into this. To kind of go for the the complete effect, the kind of black torn away, as well as the layer above it. And that's looking pretty good. And the beauty of this technique is that now you can go into the layer above it if you don't like it. Double click on gradient overlay, we can change this to whatever we want. We've got this tropical tropical one here. Can you see that's completely changed the, the dynamic of the picture. And um, if you go to stroke you can change the stroke. Change it to purple. Obviously that looks horrible but you can even increase the stroke size. Once again making things look even worse. So let's cancel that. Just cancel what we've done because that looks horrible. And uh, in true Art Attack style, if you guys don't know what Art Attack is, it's a show we had over here in England when I was growing up. Here's one I made earlier. Here we have the kind of finished piece. We have the black strokes along with splatters underneath to kind of accentuate the the stroke and the, the overall effect that we're trying to get, which is shown well here in the original artwork. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. My future tutorials will hopefully be a lot more exciting. And uh, hopefully teach you new stuff, whereas this was pretty basic stuff, but whatever. I'm sure they'll be a lot more exciting. So thanks for watching. And uh, that's a wrap.